Hi, it's Paula here. Just wanted to give a quick update about the uh, PJ5 TTL CPU. Uh, we have been doing stuff, a few bits of life have gotten in the way recently, so we've been a bit slow. Um, this is the clock PCB. Um, it's working. There are a number of mods and mistakes, so there will be another revision of this. I'll give you a quick run through of what we've got. We've got an 8 megahertz oscillator over here. This goes into a chip which I think is something like 748194. Can't remember the exact uh, number off the top of my head. This is two 16 bit um, counters. Uh, we've connected them in a cascade uh, format. So we get, we've got effectively a 32 bit counter. There's a number of selection switches and uh, inputs. So you can select one of um, the four banks of eight bits come out which we've shown here in the, the four rate settings um, we've got a high low switch to switch between uh, one of the banks and um, this switch goes from 0 through to F it's a 4-bit binary counter um, that controls one of the other bits there is um, uh, an 8 to 1 uh, MUX chip here and the lower three bits of this select which one of the eight lines coming in goes out um, that then goes into a little bit of logic to deal with our, our pause run um, command, which I'll go into in a minute. Um, the main clock then goes out to the, the main board um, via a little bit of logic down here. It might be these two. Actually, no, it is these two, actually. Um, so that selects between the step and the pause run and the, sorry, the step and the main clock. There also goes out to the... Um, delay line here this gives us anywhere between 50 nanoseconds and 500 nanoseconds um, we could have had it in 50 nanosecond increments but that would have just meant loads of jumpers so I've got 50 then 150 and 250 350 450 and 500 um, that's working really well so all the bit that I was really worried about this top end high speed stuff uh, I was super nervous about but it worked fine um, one of the mistakes I made I laid the PCB out for the 16 pin version of this chip but I did the schematic capture based on the library which is the 14 pin version of this chip and I forgot to update the netlist um, so yeah there's mods on there um, I'll be doing another revision of the board where I will correct that um, the dial here lets us select between a number of rates so if I just adjust that you can see we can go really slow i'm not going to go right down to the bottom because you're not going to wait nine minutes for it and we go up really high um the really high is 61 hertz which is here so if i go back down slow so you can see it uh and then you can switch into the high mode there you go you won't see it but it is going um and it goes all the way up to four megahertz which is really cool um down here we have some more controls we have a, a, a run pause switch, so if I foot flick it onto pause, it changes from there and the clock stops. When you're in pause mode, you can single step, uh, which is going to be quite useful for debugging. Um, put it back to run mode. There is also um, a halt signal coming in, which I've sort of just got hooked up to this test wire. And when you bring the halt signal high, which is that pin, boop, it stops. Um, and then the way to get it back out is you press reset and it carries on again. The um, reset signal goes out so we can reset the rest of the CPU at the same time. The brightness control is, yeah, we made I made a mistake here. Um, there's an 8-bit parallel to serial shifter. This is clocked by the 8 megahertz. And the idea was the bigger the number that comes in on the 8 bits, the, the wider the pulse, so the dimmer it get, uh, the brighter it gets. Um, and I kind of got the way that this works wrong. So you have to go through two steps now in order to get it to work. So that's quite bright and that's quite dim. I think you can just about see that. There are dimmer ones in there somewhere, but it's not quite how it should have been. So that's, that's sort of halfway. Um, so... Yeah, that's, that's my bad, and that's something I will fix on the next version. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with how it works. We've got everything in we wanted. Uh, I just need to tidy up this bit of logic here and redo this board. So there will be a second version coming very soon. Thanks for watching.